had the privilege of speaking in RD and Newry last Friday for International Women's Day and it was absolutely spectacular. However, a couple of months ago, I sent some private messages to some people who spent a lot of time on this page and this is what I said to them. I said, okay, so in preparation for this year's International Women's Day, I'm inviting you to put one name forward of a woman you would like to celebrate. I need their name, why you want to celebrate them and how they make you feel. How have they made a difference in your life? These details will be made public, so make sure that you're comfortable with what you're sending me. I will choose the people I believe have made the biggest impact and I will celebrate them via video on Sunday, 8th of March. Apologies, it's the 9th. I'm a day behind because I was filling my own cup in Limerick yesterday with my best friend, Lisa McKittrick. I look, I, I look forward to receiving your vote. Love always, Nicola Connolly Moore. So, the first vote in is from Sue Masterson. And Sue Masterson says, Hi Nicola, the woman I would like to celebrate is Amanda Delaney. Amanda is one amazing lady. She is so genuine, caring, fun, supportive, inclusive. The list goes on. Since I've met Amanda, my life has changed for the better. Due to her and her work, I had my best year ever last year. Her smile and laugh makes me smile and laugh. Her energy is contagious. I love her to bits. Oh, and yes, she's a big ride, Sue Masterson. And I cannot believe you have gotten me to say that on a feckin' live stream, Sue. So. So here's to you, Amanda Delaney, and I shadow everything that Sue said, and I'm sure many of us on here on social media would like to give you a big cheers and a round of applause for everything that you do for all of us on social media, publicly and behind the scenes. So my next email I received was from Evita McCluskey. And Evita McCluskey said, hi dear, sure. For me, Linda Ennis is an inspiration as she was my teacher for a few years and she's achieved a lot in her life and very supportive lady. Very easy to talk to and in any way happy to help. Um, I like to see that Linda has got a lot of education and experience that she can teach and pass on to other people that are willing to learn. She is still educating herself to learn more skills to pass on. She inspires me in her determination and willpower. And for being down to earth person that are not afraid to talk to and afraid to ask for help, really important. And she always is so calm and collected, never loses her patience, even in stressful situations. Now, it just so happens that I know Linda Ennis very well. And I'm not too sure that Avita knows this. So, you know, Clearly, Linda, you have made a massive impact on Avita McCluskey's life and you can see how well she's done in business in the last 12 months. She's received um, a couple of awards at this stage. And I would like to shadow what Avita said about Linda because Linda has been extraordinarily helpful to me personally and in business. And she is so patient and she is so kind and she is so caring. Um, in actual fact, she just set up a meeting with me and another woman who she knows is we're going to be very useful to each other. She's always, always thinking of others, other people and always, always putting other people in front of her. And for that, I am very grateful. However, I wish her a little bit more self full, Linda. Now, the next one blows my mind. This blows my mind. Now, before I read it, what I'll say to you is this is that I know this girl, oh my God, I would say it is about a year and a half now, okay? I've only met her a handful of times. She's attended my workshops. And when I met this girl, I don't mind saying it, she won't mind me saying it, she wasn't in a good place. She had low vibration energy and she was very, very challenged. And I have watched this girl make changes, little itsy bitsy changes, daily incremental changes 
consistently and persistently in the last 18 months. And I have seen this girl go like this. Her growth is off the charts and I am so super proud of her. Look how much she makes me smile. I'm so proud to know her. I'm so proud that she is part of our Unconditionally You Tribe, which is a complimentary group that you get to go into when you've attended one of my events. So this is what she said. And this will tell you the difference between when you come from a space of not having self-love and self-respect and when you learn how to love yourself that you're comfortable about saying what this lady is just about to say because this is not coming from ego this is coming from pure self-love with her feet on the ground speaking from the center of who she is okay get ready for it this is from sandra mead the name I'm putting forward for International Women's Day is me, herself, Sandra Mead. I am celebrating me. Why? For spending the last year finding me again. How do I make me feel? Proud of myself for making decisions to make my life better by learning to say no. Learning not to feel guilty by putting me first, my values, my beliefs, my boundaries, my self-respect, my morals, my courage, my bravery. I've become whole again and I hold my head up each day and thank me for me. Happy International Women's Day, Nick. Now, I'm sorry, but that's what empowerment is in a nutshell. And I am so proud of Sandra Mead for everything that she has achieved um, because she's very, very active in our in our um, complimentary group. So hats off to you, Sandra. Um, the last person that I'm going to put forward is my own best friend, Lisa McKittrick. Lisa McKittrick has had a very challenging couple of years and she has just constantly dug deep and dug further and even in all of her challenges she has always and i'll be forever grateful to lisa for that for everything that she's done for me especially in the last two years but of course over the last 30 years and um, because lisa and i are best pals a very very long time she is the epitome of what a best friend looks like. The rough, the smooths, the ups, the downs, the ins, the outs, the loving, the hating, the arguing, the making up, all of it. She is the absolute bomb. She's my rock. She's my soft place to fall. She's my anchor. I don't know what I would do. I don't know how people survive without a best friend like Lisa McKittrick. I don't know how you do it. If you don't have a best friend like Lisa McKittrick, you need to get one. Um, so, Shin A, that is all I'm going to say about that. There's Sandra Maid watching me live now. I hope you heard all that, Sandra. Uh, Sandra says, I'm crying here watching this. Isn't that lovely? You had me crying too. So listen, I'm going to leave it there. If you happen to be one of the people that I emailed and that you replied to me and I haven't called out your person, you need to contact me immediately because I made a bit of a boo-boo in my administration and I lost some of the links. So... Happy International Women's Day, and I'll catch us all on the page later. Salam. Don't forget and come to the workshop on the 4th of April.